This place is perfect if you don't know where to begin. I'm going to cover the important details about the five major aspects of the entire Alluvium universe. Now this isn't going to cover absolutely everything, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about how the ILV token fits into the world, Alluvium Beyond and the Alluvatar profile pictures, Alluvium Zero Land and fuel generation in which ways you can earn income, the Alluvium Arena, a competitive esports offering that's really on the cusp of something great, and the heart of Alluvium, the overworld, where everything is created that fits into the rest of the ecosystem. If you don't know much about Alluvium, this is a great place to start, and we're gonna go and jump into it right this moment. Alluvium is an interoperable blockchain game. But what does this mean? Every game in the universe is linked to the alluvials captured in the overworld. All future games will also have this prerequisite. If you capture an atlas, you will also be able to use that in a kart racer when the Alluvium DAO eventually makes it. It would be wrong to go into detail on all these different aspects of Alluvium without first talking about the alluvials. The alluvials are creatures that inhabit the world of Alluvium. Now, we haven't had any law officially revealed to the community, but this is the best kept secret in all of Web 3 and Web 2 gaming. And I <laughs> love all these alluvials have a tier and stage. They can be fused together to become more powerful and increase their stage. For example, an atlas is a tier one stage one alluvial. When you fuse three of them together, you get an axon, which is a tier one stage two alluvial. Fuse three of them and you get axodon, a tier one stage three alluvial. Tier in this case typically indicates rarity and overall strength, but every alluvial is unique and a tier one alluvial isn't necessarily going to flat out lose to a tier five alluvial. Alluvial. There are five basic affinities and classes that a lot of the alluvials have, as well as composite affinities and classes, but I'm not going to cover them today. The five basic affinities are fire, water, nature, earth, and air, and the classes are bulwark, fighter, scion, empath, and rogue. Over time, alluvials will be removed from availability and brand new alluvials will take their place. An atlas, for example, might go extinct and there might be a new alluvial that takes its place that's like a full bear or a, or a caterpillar or something something or even something that looks really similar to Atlas, but has a very different affinity and class to it. Now we move on to the ILV token. So unlike many games in the Web3 sphere, the crypto token is not very linked into the game economics at all. It is not used in game at all, and you do not need to own it to play Alluvium. Actually, Alluvium is free to play, but more on that later. 2.8 million tokens have been given out to early stakes of the protocol, with only 200,000 of this remaining and maybe about 500,000 are still locked up in the protocol. Besides some team tokens and a recent lockup by framework, over 50% of the tokens are either circulating or unlocked in the protocol. Another 30% are held by the DAO in some way, so they are technically circulating, although the DAO themselves would have to release those tokens to be used for something. The other thing to consider is that 5% of fuel sales will go to landholders, but everything else, including merch sales, less the cost to produce that merch, royalties of transactions and even more go to people who are staking in the protocol with ILV tokens. The longer you stake, the more revenue you are eligible for, up to a 12 month lock period. It's worth keeping in mind once that 12 month lock period ends, you can leave it in the protocol just as is and it will continue earning revenue distributions from the DAO as long as the DAO is generating revenue. Next up is Illuvium Beyond. It is a collectibles and album game where you can buy these things called discs, which are kind of like loot boxes from your classic games such as Fortnite. These have alluvatars and accessories inside them. You can bond these together to make really unique portraits and maybe you'll even pull a hollow alluvatar which are quite rare. This will represent you in every current and future alluvium game as your profile picture. Next up we have Alluvium Zero. This is a land mobile game not unlike Clash of Clans without the multiplayer features. At least yet. Yeah. Anyone can play the game for free. Those with land NFTs can sell the fuel they generate to people playing the overworld and earn Ethereum depending on how much fuel they generate on their land. Every land plot is unique with different
different fuels and elements placed along the plot, and each region has different alluvials that are likely to appear. If you find these alluvials on your land, you can research them and earn blueprints. These will unlock unique cosmetic items in the other alluvium games. In particular, the one we know about is in the alluvium overworld, the different weapons you can use in the game can be customized with different patterns based on alluvials, and that has to become from a blueprint found on alluvium land. Next up is the Alluvium Arena. The first beta for this PvP game just got released on the Epic Game Store, and right now anyone can download and play the game indefinitely and try it out with everything unlocked, at least until the open beta comes. In the future, you will need to capture alluvials in the overworld to be able to use them in the game. But again, this will mostly be free to play. The arena is an auto battler game that is one versus one. Matches take approximately 10 minutes, and I must say the pacing is excellent. You will play your alluvials on the board and watch them have massive cinematic battles, switching up your strategy round to round. This game is highly addictive, easy to jump into, and very, very watchable. Even if you don't quite get it at first, you will grab teams from other people, try them out, improve on them, edit them, and really find a play style that you love to play in the game. Lastly, we have the Alluvium Overworld. This is the heart and soul of Alluvium. Everyone can play for free and capture tier zero alluvials and mine tier zero resources when you explore one of seven regions. Three will be available at launch and you can mine and harvest resources and capture alluvials in these regions. It might cost you a small amount of fuel which you'll have to buy with Ethereum to be able to enter into these worlds, but this will not be too crazy. There will be three regions available at launch. Crimson Wastes, Abyssal Basin, and Brightland Steps, all distinctly different from each other, not only in color palette, but in the way you navigate these worlds. The hub is called Sanctum Mesa. This is where you'll do things like edit your team of alluvials, craft different items, and fuse alluvials to evolve them. The last thing I should mention is every single time an alluvial is caught in the game, it becomes slightly harder to catch for every other player in this world. Although they can never run out this way, they will eventually become twice as difficult to obtain than they would have been on day one of playing the game. Now let's talk about the future of Alluvium and what's coming next. Lots of things have been teased. Co-op multiplayer in the overworld, for example, is something that is talked about frequently in the Alluvium Discord. Raid battles, 2v2 battles in the Alluvium Arena, and future games such as a trading card game using Alluvium Beyond, or a kart racer using your favorite alluvials such as Atlas, or Ramphy. The arena and Alluvium Zero is highly polished, and although the overworld feels empty at times, it will be way better at open beta as Grant and the rest of the team are working tirelessly to make it even more engaging. Oh. <laughs> they'll add other things such as quests, NPCs, and all the rest of it. The official launch of everything connecting together and going on the blockchain will be launching late Q1 2024. Now, this could be delayed again, but I wouldn't expect it to come out later than June of 2024. Everything will be wiped at this time. All of your resources on Alluvium land, all of your overworld <laughs> accomplishments and everything will be wiped and everything will then go onto the blockchain. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned everything Alluvium has to offer. If you want to sign up and download the game right now, use the link in the description down below. And if you want merch, use the code SCORIOX5 for 5% off. Obviously, I get a slight commission as well. I really appreciate you guys for sticking through to the end of the video. If you want to see more guides like this and learn more about Alluvium, I am the one to subscribe to. Please subscribe down below and have a good day.